back to another video, guys. We're here at Bergen County Harley Davidson, and right here we have the brand new, beautiful 2023 Lowrider ST White Pearl Sand, and then the vivid black right here, side by side. And obviously, we got my main man Sergio on this scene today. So, obviously, what we're gonna be talking about, um, we're gonna be talking about the best bike that Harley Davidson has to offer on the market right now. And this is just, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion, our opinion, because I think we have the uh, uh, we're, I guess we're both on the same target right now. Um, to me, this is the best bike for your buck right now. Um, it's, it's the best bike overall. We're gonna go over details, so it'll be kind of a semi-review, and uh, we'll be pointing out all the things that make this bike so, so good. Um, so obviously, we're gonna start with the fairing. We'll start with the white sand pearl first, because this color is absolutely beautiful. I really like the way it looks in person. If you haven't seen it in person, stop by a dealership and check it out because it's really beautiful. But we've got this brand new redesigned um, fairing which came out for 2022 last year. Um, I did and I was able to get a lot of seat time on this bike last year on California when Harley Davidson invited me out. So huge shout out to Harley for that. Um, <clears throat> but the fairing is really nice. They spent countless hours designing this fairing in the wind tunnel. So uh, let me tell you, on the highway, it does the job um, just as much as the fairing does on uh, road glide or the street glide. It will protect you from everything, and it looks great. Um, obviously, a nice retro look back to the uh, FXRT, FXRP fairing from back in the 80s. Um, but this is definitely done right, modern, and, and, and it looks great. We got that, that small windshield right now, which I think looks great. A lot of people are switching these out for the clockworks. But in, in all honesty, I prefer the stock windshield. It just it just looks cool. And I mean, no, no shade to Clockworks. Their, their shield looks, it looks awesome. But for this being a stock windshield, you would think that would be an aftermarket, in my opinion. Exactly. Um, Harley does offer a taller one, and it's more clear uh, from the uh, catalog. But uh, th this looks really cool, and it does the job. It keeps the wind right off of you. You're going to have that LED headlight in the front. Uh, still no LED turn signals, no. Harley Davidson. Why? <laughs> Maybe 2024. Maybe 2020. <laughs> maybe 2045. <laughs> right. Um, all right. So you're gonna have this inverted front end being a low rider S, low rider ST. Great handling on the inverted forks. Um, this obviously uh, has been adjusted as well. It has been tuned to the fairing in the front. So this bike is gonna ride a lot different than per se your low rider S, um, just because it's been tuned to carry this fairing in the front. Um, and, and it looks, it looks, it feels great. Brakes are awesome. You're gonna have dual disc front brakes in the front. You're gonna have that rear brake in the back as well. But the uh, the bite in the front is really, really, really good. Now, obviously, Harley did change up a few things for uh, 2022 last year, but obviously going on this year, you're gonna have that four inch riser right here, which feels great. Um, I would prefer a taller, but they are options, a lot of aftermarket options out there, but the four inch does feel good. Now, what do you think about it? I think so too. Um, from the Dyna to this, I was like, oh wow. I'm like. That four inches did make a difference and it was actually more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it does look good. And um, I mean, if you are still getting used to the uh, digital gauge, I mean, you can always swap that out if you don't like it and just get a, uh, a full one gauge on it. Uh, just you can see your RPMs, see everything. You, you're like you're able to see everything on here, yeah, but. It's clean, I, yeah. that's what I like about it. Yeah, me, I don't know. I, I think I, I would I would opt out for, for a gauge. Really? Yeah, I mean, I like it, I'm not saying, like I've always liked this, even from the beginning when people hated it, I'm like, this is actually pretty cool, but I prefer uh, like a, a gauge. Gotcha. You know? uh, so yeah, I would opt out for that. Um, so what are we gonna have? We're gonna have that 117 on here, guys. Pushing around 125 foot pounds of torque. This, let me tell you, I don't know what they did to it, but the stock 117 right here feels like something from the aftermarket. Yeah. It, it really does. It, 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 it feels like if you had a 114 with a stage two in it, that, that's how I'm gonna put all it. all the way. It's, you're gonna have power at every RPM range. It feels great. It just wants to take off. And it's a super fun bike to ride. Um, you're gonna have that Turn out elbow cleaner right here, which looks pretty cool with the 117 branding right there in the front. Um, and then obviously mid controls, uh, mid controls obviously on a performance. This is this is supposed to be a performance cruiser. That that that's what it's for. And I just sit on this bike and I'll show you guys just real quick how uh, we'll look on this. You want to sit on that one? Sure. Side by side. How tall are you? Five seven ish. <laughs> on a good day. On a good day. Uh, just like me. Twins. Yep. Twins. 
stupid. <laughs> Can't take him nowhere. So obviously at 5'7", I'll be able to flat foot this bike, so are you. Yeah. Feels good. Ergonomics of the bike feels really good. Um, like I said, you're gonna have that four inch riser there. Um, I would prefer, like, let's say like an eight inch for sure. Um, oh, but she said it. Th th this does feel good. I really like the, um, the badging on the, uh, on the middle, on the mid console right here, the FXLRST. Um, that looks really nice, nice and clean going down the dash. Really good. You're gonna have a two into two exhaust on here as well. Obviously being a stock pipe, it's not gonna sound as cool or nice as something from the aftermarket, so that's that. Um, and you're gonna have these uh, beautiful bags in the back which are retractable. You're able to take these bags off within like 30 seconds. All right, so real easy to take these bags off. You're gonna open it. And then you gotta pull. Right here you can see that it's locked and unlocked. Um, so you're gonna pull, turn, that goes up. And then just like that. And then to put it back, you're gonna put the latches on top first. Then that locks in, lock that up, close the bag, lock your bag. And you're able to lock it so if you are carrying some stuff with you, you want to lock your bags, you're able to lock it and not worry about anything. Um, so that's pretty cool. Going around the back, you're going to have that uh, LED rear um, light in the back clear. It looks really, really nice. Um, and then obviously with your blinkers. Um, you would, I, I would have thought they would have just done one integrated, but maybe for 2025. Um, this does come one seat up, but you are also able to put a pillion on here if you guys want to have a passenger or obviously get an aftermarket seat, you could do that as well. Now, let's talk about why we think that this is, this, this is the best bike for your buck. So this bike does come in at 22,199. Um, so it's a, I mean, that's, that's a really good starting point for you get it right here. You're basically getting like a mini touring bike here for a, a really, really good price. Um, and then if you wanna go ahead those, and take those bags off, you're gonna have just, a soft tail and I, I mean the bike is a soft tail but it it's a small touring bike that's, that's what it is a sport touring and uh and you, you can't beat that so you're gonna have the wind protection from what you would have from a bigger bagger you have the bags in the back if you want to get rid of the bags you take them off you're gonna have power it looks great it's 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 fun you're gonna have a five gallon gas tank on there i know on the bag you're gonna have a six gallon but i mean five gallons plenty uh, for you to get on, on the road and, and get a lot of miles in before you have to fill up again. Um, it looks great. To me, it's the most beautiful. I mean, I, I'm coming off a, a 2020 Lowrider S. I absolutely love my bike. Um, to me, that it was the pinnacle. That that was everything. That's the best look in the Harley Davidson there is. Until and this I, came out. <laughs> until, until this came out, and I was so close to trading in for this. But overall, a really good looking bike. And obviously something that everyone's after right now and especially with this new color right here it's just beautiful now when it comes to price point obviously 22199 but you're gonna have some fees into there and this and that and this and that so i mean you'll end up a little more after taxes and everything and fees are all done but, but it's still better than think of like a road glider street glide standard that only has a 107 in it that's in the mid high 20s at least yep. you're still in the low 20s and you're getting a 117. now in addition to that um for 2023 they did upgrade the suspension so you're going to have a taller mono shock in the back giving you a, a longer travel so a lot more comfortable giving you a nice gap so you're able to see that gap between the fender and uh, the tire back there it looks great um and then yeah you want to you want to point out the elephant in the room in the bags yeah so if you're looking at the bike from behind you're wondering why the bags are different sizes but because the pipes um i don't even know How do you so it? so it, it's it's because it's because of the pipes yeah. so the and reason you notice that, what i've noticed is if there was a two into one you're going to notice it more you don't notice it as much now but if you put a two into one on here, you're gonna notice the difference of the two bags and the different yeah. sizes. So that, that's one question I did ask them when I was out there in California last year. And they basically told me the same thing. I was like, listen, we, uh, we, we designed the bike with the exhaust it has right now. There was really no, no, time, no, no time to redesign a brand new exhaust. It takes time, yeah. it takes a lot of money. And that's it, what I figured. You know, so it, it is what it is. Um, it, is it a huge difference? No, I mean, can you tell a little? Yes. Yeah. But is it like a, you know, is it, is it like a nail in the coffin for me? No. No, not it's, at all. It's, it's not. 
what not. the way I noticed it more was a gentleman was out um, and I looked at it and I was like, wait, I didn't notice that on the showroom. And then he had a two into one and I was like, they're different bags. <laughs> Yeah. The different sizes. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. I wouldn't have known until yeah. you saw that. What, one one thing that that I think they could have just done was make both bags short. Yeah, I think so that you got would make that sense. shorter bag on the other side and longer bag on this side. Why don't you just make both of them shorter? Yep. And they'll be both the same and and not have to worry. So I mean, who knows? Because how much more can you really fit in there? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's basically like. A, the cubic inch or something exactly. like that you're gonna lose, exactly. and it's like you're not really gonna lose much. Um, yeah, man, the 2023 Low Rider ST, the number one pick to me, honestly, best bike for your buck, best looking bike, performance wise is there, comfortable wise, you're there, um, and it's just, when it comes to mod modifying this bike, there's just so many ways you can go, it's just endless, and then um, that's it, it's, I think to me it's the best like that already has to offer right now. Absolutely. And we're fortunate enough to have a few because every time they came in, they were flying. So that's a plus for us. Yeah, right now we have what? Uh, one, two, three low rider rests, four low rider rests, yep. and three low rider STs in here. Yep. And then I have uh, 17 bikes coming in tomorrow, which I think there might be another one. Jeez. But one of these is leaving today. I have a guy coming in on a test ride between a street bob and an ST, and I have a guarantee that he is going to go home with this. Um, because why not? <laughs> yeah. A couple I, thousand dollars more, you get your bang for your buck and you're getting the bags, you're getting the fairing, the whole nine. The only thing that you're gonna get from factory right now, when, it, when you compare it to like, let's say a baggers of music, but Harley does offer the Rockford Fosgate um, speaker system that you can put here. I mean, you, it's a, you gotta pay for that, but you are able to just add it in here and it, and it, and it fits in perfectly. I, we actually did a video installing one on a, a Mike's bike. So if you guys wanna take a look at that on there, and um, the plus is they're available this year. Last year they came out and they weren't. They were, they were like a back order. For yeah. Like so we have years. them now. So that's a big upsell for us when the customer's like, well, I really want the speakers. Well, now we have them. You have them here in yeah, the house? They're in house, yep. Okay. Well, Because we, we were having a lot of people go straight to a road glide because they wanted the speakers, but now we have that option of, well, you can build that right in. Yeah, for sure. And I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people who are going to be customizing this to add more speakers. If that's your into it, music and stuff like that. You could definitely try to play around with this. Um, I think it's going to be pretty much cover everything, guys. If you have any further questions, drop your thoughts and comments down below. And if you are looking for a Lowrider ST, Lowrider S, or any of the top bike, come hit up Sergio. He's going to be here at Bergen. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace. Always let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the. Enjoy the one. Fuck. Take two. Fuck, Ryan. <laughs> Way to go, bro. You, yeah, you really took me May out of my force, element. May the force be with you. I saw Ryan. I'm like, oh my god, here my my, my knees got weak. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying, man. Come on. Maybe 2020. <laughs> maybe 2045. <laughs> the brand new 2023 Lowrider ST and that white pants girl. Uh, in that white pearl, what, white nice. pearl sand, right? Pearl sand, there you go. <laughs> Try again. Take two. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> <laughs>